So, welcome back again students to another video lesson. So, after nating i-discuss yung topics on linear functions, so we'll now move on to another topic. So, ang una nating pag-uusapan sa bago nating topic is if-then statements. So, for this uh, video lesson, we will be identifying the hypothesis and conclusion of a given conditional statement. And then, we will rewrite a statement uh, in if-then statement form. So, kung paano yan, so malalaman nyo po dito sa video lesson na ito. So, for our lesson objectives, we will determine the relationship between the hypothesis and the conclusion of an if-then statement. And then, we will transform a statement into an equivalent if-then statement. So, what is an if-then statement? So, an if-then statement is a conditional statement consisting of a hypothesis and a conclusion. So, yung if-then statement po is a type of conditional statement wherein kailangan meron siyang hypothesis and then conclusion. Like for example, kapag sinabi sa'yo ng parents mo na kapag nag-aral ka ng mabuti, bibigyan ka namin ng reward, ng premyo. So, ano yung hypothesis doon? Mag-aaral ka ng mabuti. And then, yung conclusion is yung magiging result ng action mo. So, which is, bibigyan ka nila ng reward or premyo. So, the if-then statement is in the form of if P, then Q, or P implies Q. Ayan. So, yung tatlong naka-highlight na yan, yan po yung if-then statement. Wherein, yung P dyan is yung hypothesis. And then, yung Q naman is yung conclusion. So, the if clause is the hypothesis and the then clause is the conclusion. So, lagi pong nauna yung if clause sa then clause. Although, pwede din naman natin yung pagbalik ta rin. So, sa susunod na video lesson, makikita nyo po kung paano sinusulat yung conditional statement ng kabaligtaran. So, let's have an example. If I will study my lessons, then I will pass my exam. So, uh, so, in Tagalog, so, kapag nag-aral ka ng yung mga leksyon, and then, ang mangyayari doon, papasa ka sa exam mo, sa test mo. So, what will be the hypothesis? So, I will study my lessons. So, ito po yung, yung hypothesis. I will study my lesson. So, kapag nag-aral ka ng lessons mo, ano ang magiging results noon? Is yung conclusion. So, the conclusion will be, I will pass my exam. So, yun po yung kanyang conclusion. Natural naman, kapag nag-aral ka ng mabuti ng yung leksyon, may uh, higher chance ka na papasa ka sa exam. So, yan po yung hypothesis and conclusion. So, conditional statement. So, a conditional statement is false if the hypothesis is true and the conclusion is false. So, may mga statements tayo, conditional statements tayo na false kapag yung hypothesis natin, yung if clause, tama and then yung conclusion naman, mali. So, like for example, if the weather is fine today, then children cannot play outside. So, yung if clause natin, yung hypothesis will be if the weather is fine today. Ito po yung ating hypothesis. Limbawa, hypothesis natin is true. And then, children cannot play outside. Ito naman po yung ating conclusion. So, bakit ang conditional statement natin ay false siya? It's because, kapag naman ang weather ay maganda, fine nga, pwede maglaro yung bata. So, bakit naging false yung ating conclusion? Because of the word cannot. Okay, so yung cannot, ibig sabihin, hindi. Okay, so dapat, para maging true yung ating statement, dapat yung cannot maging can lang. So like for example, if the weather is fine today, then children can play outside. So the conditional statement is true because the hypothesis is true and the conclusion is also true. So for the activity, transform the following statements into an if-then statement. So, nai-discuss ko na po sa inyo kung paano i-determine yung hypothesis and conclusion sa given if-then statement. So, wherein yung if clause natin 
is yung hypothesis, yung then clause naman is yung conclusion. So, ngayon naman, given po yung statement, ito transform natin, isusulat natin into an if-then statement. So, once na na isulat na natin yung statement sa if-then statement, madali lang naman yung pag-identify ng hypothesis and conclusion. So, let's have number one. So, number one statement is, all Filipinos are hospitable. Okay, so kilala tayo mga Pilipino bilang hospitable sa mga bisita. Okay, so ma-entertain tayo sa mga bisita. So, paano natin isusulat ang statement na to into an if-then statement? So, we can write it as, If you are a Filipino, then you are hospitable. So, sa susunod nating video lesson, makikita nyo naman kung paano natin baligta rin yung uh, statement. So, pwede kasi nating sabihin na if you are a hospitable citizen, then you are a Filipino. So, dito, ang papakita muna natin is yan. So, if you are a Filipino, then you are hospitable. Number two statement. A quadrilateral is a four-sided polygon. So, pwede nating isulat as If a figure is a quadrilateral, then it has four sides. O pwede rin namang, if a polygon is a quadrilateral, then it has four sides. So, ang figure na to, pwede rin po nating palitan as polygon. So, let's have the next statement. Even numbers are divisible by 2. So, yung mga even numbers po, ito po yung mga numbers na nag end sa 2, 4, 6, 8, 0. So, even numbers are divisible by 2. Like, for example, if we will divide 4 by 2, we can, di we can divide 4 by 2 without remainder. So, paano natin isusulat ito into an if-then statement? So, if a number is an even number, then it is divisible by 2. So, masasabi lang natin na ang isang number Divisible siya sa 2 kapag even number siya. So, kaya yung statement natin is true. So, let's have the fourth statement. All sides of equilateral triangles have equal lengths. So, meron po kasi tayong uh, type of triangle na kung saan uh, lahat ng sides niya, yung 3 sides, pare-pareho yung sukat. So, that is equilateral triangle. So, paano natin i-transform yung ating statement into an if-then statement. So, pwede natin isulat as if a triangle is equilateral, then all of its sides have equal lengths. So, aside from this given statement, so, pwede rin natin isulat as, if a triangle is equilateral, then all of its sides are equal. So, we don't need to write equal lengths. Just simply write equal. So, pwede na yan. For the last statement, so, full course meals include an appetizer, a main dish, and a dessert. So, sulat natin siya as, If a meal is considered as a full course meal, then it should include an 
an appetizer. A main dish. And a dessert. That's how you write the given statement to an if-then statement. So, after nating discuss yung if-then statements, kung paano i-determine yung hypothesis and conclusion, as well as pag-transform ng isang statement into an if-then statement. So, our next uh, video lesson will be uh, determine the converse, inverse, and contrapositive of an if-then statement. So, that's all.